involved in many aspects of church life here. Um, and we are going to miss them because they are going off to Durham, North Carolina, to work with international students there. Right, so I know most of you will know who I'm talking about. We brought them up a few weeks ago and they shared about this. We just dedicated their son uh, last week. And so I wonder if you will welcome with me um, Jordan and Rebecca Lassiter to the front. just to remind us what an exciting time um, and event this is. You know, this is exciting for us as a church community because we talk a lot about connect, grow, and release. And uh, one of the, the missions of this church is to release people into the call of God on their lives. And so this has been happening. We're getting good at it. And so it's exciting and sad at the same time, but it's really exciting today uh, for us as a church to see the mission that God has given us actually happening. Um, and I know it's exciting uh, for, for Jordan and Rebecca today as well, um, because they have been discerning the call of God in their lives over a long, um, a long period of time, and this year especially, seeing this kind of coming together. And so today is really a celebration and a release into this. So this is really um, an exciting thing for, for all of us. Um, okay, so I know that a few weeks ago we had you guys up here and sharing um, with us some of what you were doing, but not everyone here today um, maybe was here. Um, and so I wonder if you would just sort of give us an overview and kind of recap for us, um, Jordan. What is it exactly that you guys are going to be doing when you're moving to Europe? Yeah, so we're going to be working with the international student population at Duke University. Um, so we have a heart for missions and for unreached people groups. And at universities all around the country, there are nations that are here. Um, and they've come to us. So we have the opportunity to, to reach these nations here in the U.S. So uh, we're going uh, as missionaries, but we're just going to Europe. We're not going out of the country. Um, so it's a really unique way that we can do missions here in the U.S. Um, and we look forward to inviting the community around us, other churches, other families that we know, to get involved as we are, building relationships with these students so that we can share the love of Christ. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and Rebecca, I wonder if you could just share with all of us, just look practically, like what are the logistical next steps for you guys and how can we specifically be praying for you? Um, so we're moving on Wednesday and we have a three month old, so we are not packed. <laughs> uh, so that's just kind of even a really big practical thing that we need prayer for is energy and patience with each other as we pack. Um, like I said, we're moving on Wednesday, and we are searching for a community as soon as we get there, similar to what we have here at City Church. So prayers for us that we can find that community and get plugged in quickly. And then also financial support. We're still raising support um, while we're in Durham before we move on, start working on campus. And so we're reaching out and finding financial partners and prayer partners through um, the next few months as well. So prayers for that. Great. Um, thanks, guys. So we, we will pray for those things um, in just a minute. But, um, you know, I, I just wanted to say a couple of things uh, before we do that. And, you know, the first thing I think is really just a thank you um, to you guys, Jordan and Rebecca, uh, because they have just really blessed us as a community um, as they have been here for the last four years. Um, some of you may know that Jordan is um, a graduate of Gordon Theological Seminary, Gordon Conwell, and, um, and he has helped us in writing different curriculums for brain food. Um, these guys have blessed us in tremendous ways. Jordan is a drummer. He's worked with um, the worship team here. Um, they both worked for an extended period of time with the student ministry here, with the um, junior high and high school students. Um, they've helped in the nursery with the babies. Um, they've done various outreach things here. They both were leaders on the team uh, to Haiti um, that we sent out last summer. Um, just the list just kind of keeps on going in all the ways that they have been involved here. Um, and personally, you guys have been great friends uh, to me and to Ryan and our family, and you have just been great friends uh, to this church community. And so just want to say thank you for the ways that you have blessed us um, as a church. And um, yes, yeah, so that's the first thing that we want to say. Um, and then secondly, really, we just want to affirm your sense of call as we release you out. Um, you know, you shared some of your story with us before about um, how these guys have sensed a call to missions. And they have um, been open to the ways that that would be realized in their lives, you know. And at first you thought you might move internationally. And then you just showed this great willingness to be open to whatever ways God would, 
used you in these different circumstances and have realized that actually your call is international right here in North Carolina. And so it's just been really great seeing the way that you have done that. So we just really want to affirm that um, in you and encourage you to continue pursuing God as you go and are released into this new thing um, that he's doing for you guys. So um, on that basis, we're going to do uh, a few things. Um, and so in a minute, we're going to actually invite any of you who know these guys, who are part of the prayer team, who are part of the missions committee or whatever, to physically surround them. We're going to pray for them. And just symbolically of what we are doing by surrounding them, um, we just want to stand around them as we pray. Um, and then we're going to have just a couple of very simple declarations um, over them. And then um, Helen, who is part of the missions committee, will pray over them and then will formally um, commission them. Um, to go out in Jesus' name. So let me invite everyone to stand. And um, now, if you're on the prayer team, if you're on the mission committee, why don't you guys maybe just stand right down here, Jordan and Rebecca. Um, if you are a part of the ministry team, if you're in their life group, if you just know these guys, um, let's just physically surround them. And as you're coming, I'll just tell you um, that we what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple of simple declarations, right? I'm going to ask two questions. The first is going to be to Jordan and Rebecca, um, and I'm going to ask them to declare their commitment to Jesus and to the mission of the work that they're doing in Durham. Um, and then I'm going to ask all of us um, if we are going to commit to support, encourage, and pray for them um, as they go. And as we do, hopefully we will all hear we do in response, right? Um, so, so why don't we do that now as we're standing around them? I'm going to ask this of Jordan and Rebecca. Um, Rebecca and Jordan, do you commit yourself to the call of God on your life and to the mission and work that you will do at Duke University? You do. And to all of us, do we as the people sending Rebecca and Jordan out commit to support, encourage, and pray for them as they go from here to do this work of the kingdom? We do. Good. Now Helen uh, will pray for them. Let's pray. Almighty God. Look with favor on Jordan and Rebecca, who make this commitment to follow Jesus and serve in his name. Give them courage, patience, and vision. And Lord, strengthen all of us here today in our witness to the world yes, Lord. and service to others through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jordan and Rebecca, may the Holy Spirit guide and strengthen you in all things that you may do God's will in the service of the kingdom of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And now I'll pray for them as well. Jesus, we uh, thank you for Rebecca and for Jordan. And we thank you for their friendship, uh, for their faithfulness, and for all that you've done um, for them and through them here at City Church. Um, and Lord, we do thank you for this call on their lives mm -hmm. and the thing that you've placed in front of them to do. We thank you for the ways that you've been preparing them for this, the ways that you've been leading them forward in this call. And Lord, we ask that as they leave here from City Church and go forward, that you will anoint them with your Holy Spirit. Lord, we ask that you would pour out your, your gifts on them. Lord, that uh, you would give them strength and courage and protection as they go forward. And Lord, we ask that you will use them um, to be the light of Jesus to the international students at Duke University. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask that through them that you will bring your kingdom. Lord, we ask that you would protect them as they go. And we ask that you would fill them up, Lord, in every way that they pour out and give of themselves. We ask that you would refresh them and sustain them and give them everything they need. And um, on that basis, uh, we just want to anoint you guys. So I'll anoint you with oil. And Rebecca and Jordan, we now commission you to go forward in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. To preach the good news, to build the church, and to make disciples of all nations. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.